when a person is walking in the favor and the grace of God, you can do whatever you want to do to him. But he'll, he's, he's kind of, how many of y'all remember that, that, that uh, uh, thing that, um, oh, man, what is that thing that we used to play when we was a kid? It was weighted at the bottom. You could hit it. Roly poly, something like that. Yeah, you know, and you know, you hit the thing. It was weighted at the bottom, kind of like a big tall potato head looking thing. And you'd hit it, and it it it'll, it'll fall down, but then it'll come back up. See, that's what happened when favor is on your life, when the grace of God is on your life. No matter what, see, the enemy could try to bring sickness. It could try. He can try to bring disease. He can try to bring poverty. He can bring all these things. But because you so he glory to God, you're so heavy with favor on you that no matter what brings to you, all of a sudden you'll find yourself bouncing back. Amen. See, that's what favor will do for you. Amen. See, you've been wondering, well, how, how did I make it out of all of this? How did I come out of this situation? How did God deliver me out of all this? It was the favor of God on your life. God wasn't going to let you stay in your mess. He had too much favor on you. I mean, if you knew what you looked like in the spirit, you'd be smiling every day. Amen. Because, see, you covered in favor. See, that's why the enemy can't stand to look at you because when he looks at you, he said, my God. He said, I tried to put him in this. I had him on drugs over here. I had him doing this over here. I had him in this place over here. But why in the world they keep bouncing back? You see, what it is, he sees something on you. That's why he keeps trying to stop you. See, we call it favor. Amen. I'm going to steal this phrase from um, a lady by the name of Kate McVay. She said this. She said, a day of favor is worth more than a thousand days of labor. See, you can't work hard enough to obtain the favor of God. But let me tell you this. When you begin to reverence the things of God, you'll find yourself walking in the true favor of God. When you give God all that belongs to him, you'll find yourself walking in total, in total favor because you're reverencing God. Now, this is what he's saying here. He says reverence, in verse 7 again, great, God is greatly to be feared or reverence in the assemblies of the saints. Well, let me just say it like this. Even in church, while we're assembled together, there, there should be a reverence in the house of God. Because when you begin to reverence the house of God, God says, okay, you reverencing, you reverencing my presence, you reverencing my assembly. Now, what is it that you need on your life? I will place favor on you because you're reverencing me. See, when you go after God with everything you got. When you say, God, I love you enough that I'm going to be what you call me to be, do what you call me to do, even in the sanctuary. I will lift my hands and worship you. Even in the sanctuary, I will reverence the presence of God. And then God has said, I will put favor on you beyond your wildest imagination. Amen. Amen. Let's skip all the way down to verse 17. For thou art the glory of thy strength. And in thy favor, thy horn shall be exalted. 